Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, we're going to look at how to cut out a model with frizzy hair and place her onto a new background. Let's start by duplicating your background layer. Next, click on the quick selection tool in the left menu. Make sure the enhance edge is checked and then click on select subject. Once you see the marching ants around the subject, you can use the plus and minus brushes to add or remove from the selection. I'm going to zoom in and slowly go around the outer edges to examine the current selection and see if anything needs to be added or removed. Next, click on the select and mask button from the top menu and from the view dropdown, choose a view that offers the harshest contrast. The harsher the contrast, the better you'll be able to see all the imperfections in the selection. I'm going to select white background for this image. The opacity slider will allow you to control the opacity between the white background and the original background. The edge detection slider allows you to refine the size of the edge. Under global refinements, the smooth slider allows you to smoothen sharp edges, whereas the feather slider allows you to make the edges softer. Contrast slider allows you to increase the contrast of the selection edge. The shift edge slider allows you to shift the selection edge inward or outward. Decontaminate colors checkbox allows you to remove the background colors from the outer edges of the image. I'm going to leave it checked for this image. On the left menu, you'll find the Refine Edge Brush Tool, which is the primary brush used to select hair. However, in the 2021 version of Photoshop, you'll see a Refine Hair button in the top menu. Click on this button to automatically refine hair of our model. Now you can use the Refine Hair Brush tool to refine hair further. If you zoom in and turn down the opacity, you'll notice this particular strand of hair is picking colors from the background. Let's try using the Refine Hair Brush tool to see if we can get this fixed. It looks like the Refine Hair Brush tool is making things worse. For now, I'm going to undo my brush strokes and later we'll see if we can get this fixed using a different method. Make sure new layer with layer mask is selected in the output to dropdown and click OK. In the new layer, hold the option key and click on the layer mask thumbnail. Now select the brush tool from the left menu and choose soft light from the mode dropdown. Make sure the flow dropdown is selected to 1%. For the brush hardness, choose a value of 0%. Now with the foreground color set to black, you can start painting over the outer white fringes. Remember, white reveals and black conceals. So with the black foreground, we're removing the fuzzy white areas. The soft light blend mode will protect the dark white tones. Since the flow is set to a really low value, you can make multiple passes until you're happy with the selection. Next, let's bring in our new background image. I'm also going to transform and resize the background image so it fits our canvas. Now I'm going to right click on my model's image and convert it to a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. Next, Transform and resize your model's image to your liking. To match colors, click on Adjustments tab and then select Curves. Make sure you click on the Curves thumbnail and then click on the Clipping button. Now hold the Option key and select Auto. Next, select Find Dark and Light Colors and use the Shadows Color Picker to find a dark color from the background image. Repeat this process for highlights and midtones, and then click OK. If you want to go one step further, you can add a new color lookup adjustment layer and choose a lookup table file to bring everything together. 
I'm going to select crisp warm look from the drop down. Finally, let's look at the before and after. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.